Hi, my name's Andy James from Blueware. I'm often asked, what is Blueware Fast and why do I need it? So I thought I'd share this brief video that describes exactly what Blueware Fast is and the problem it solves for the industry. In a typical seismic interpretation data workflow, I may start with a 3D post stack seismic survey. This could typically be around 200 gigabytes. In order to use this within applications, I need application specific formats such as Petrel, PaleoScan, the original SegY, and potentially another format. This adds 800 gigabytes of data from my original 200. Some of the applications need performance optimized versions. PaleoScan, for example, likes to use an additional volume for the cross line and one for the slice. This adds another 400 gigabytes. And in order to make the applications faster, interpreters break the data down into smaller subvolumes. Adding these subvolumes essentially doubles the space to 1200 gigabytes. The result is a whopping 2.4 terabytes of data. And all of this data is just duplicates of their original 200 gigabytes and needs to be stored on high performance data volumes in the cloud in order to make these applications work well. Blueware Fast, on the other hand, takes that single 200 gigabyte data set and puts it in VDS format in Object Store. Object Store in the cloud is very cheap, it's very fast, and it's very scalable, making it perfect for seismic data. Data from Object Store is streamed and transcoded into applications formats, those performance optimized versions, and potentially even subvolumes as well. And it's delivered as needed directly into the application. And this means putting the data to appear to the application as files. So on the interpretation workstation, we end up with a virtual folder containing a representation of all of your seismic data presented in all of the applications and combinations of volumes that you determine needed for that interpretation workflow. And the interpretation application reads the data and the data is streamed on demand as needed, as opposed to copied upfront onto the workstation and existing as real copies of the files on disk. So let's see this in practice. I can configure fast in two ways. One is using this interface, or alternatively, I can configure it using APIs. For this example, I'm actually going to use the APIs. The first thing I do is define my data source. This is my central data source in Object Store. It points to a VDS using an Object Store location. The next thing I'll do is use a mapping to a SegY. Now let's take a look at that. In the configuration here, I'm now seeing a mapping for this SegY for Bonaventure in Australia. Now this will appear as in disk as a virtual file. Here is the virtual drive, which FAST is configured to. And within here, I now have an Australia folder, a Bonaventure folder, and a virtual SegY. It appears like it's occupying the space of the actual SegY, but in reality, there's no data here at all. When I use this within an application, the data will be streamed directly via this file. So let's configure some more data sources. Next, I'm going to configure the PaleoScan inline, the OpenZGY, and a raw format. Going back to my data source here, I can see these virtual files have been created. And looking at them, this is the 800 gigabytes that was used for those application formats in the presentation. Next, I'll create the additional formats required by PaleoScan for the cross line and slice. A quick refresh here will show those created virtually. And then 
create the subsets. And I'll also go ahead and create the equivalent subsets for PaleoScan2. Now, taking a quick look at the configuration, you'll see all of these files are being produced and they're just preparing themselves now as we go down. Going back to the data area here, refresh again and you'll see all of this data. And if I maximize this, select all of this data, here's the approximately 2.4 terabytes I showed you. So the K drive doesn't actually really exist. It's all virtual data. This data hasn't been copied locally. It's a presentation of that single central data source in object store, but it's being presented in the format the application wants to use the data. So pretty cool. So next we'll take a look at how an application like Petrel can actually use this data and read directly from these virtual files. So I'm going to open Petrel. I have a blank project here already and I'm going to import the data. I'm in this uh, Bonaventure folder on the K drive and you can see here the five CGY files that I mapped earlier. So the original size, the full size here is the full volume and then you have these four subsets that I created. So let me open up the uh, the volume itself, the full volume. I'm going to accept the defaults here, create a 3D window and you can see very quickly I can bring up the data set itself here and this is streaming directly from Object Store. This isn't local, this is uh, data being transcoded on the fly into Petrel by fast and it's very usable and the performance is really really good. So in essence this is fast, no uh, no data sitting on data servers, you get this virtual drive mapping of all your data and it's available into your interpreter, interpretation applications streaming data directly from Object Store. So with Blue Fast, all of your data can exist in Object Store and stored centrally, but be presented to applications as a massive virtual folder presenting all of the data in the format ready for use by the application, rather than constantly converting data and importing and exporting data. And it's ready to use and streamed on demand by the interpretation application. BlueFast uses streaming technology, and if you use the analogy of Netflix, where data is streamed directly from the cloud into the device of your choice, we do the same thing with seismic data, where just the information you, that you need to support the geophysics application is streamed directly into the application on demand. So the benefits of FAST that it simplifies your data management workflow and enables you to use single, low-cost central data source for you, all of your seismic data. It'll work with existing applications without having to change those applications at all, so you can begin to move existing applications to the cloud today. And ultimately it saves you money and removes the need for high-cost cloud file systems. So that's Blueware Fast. If you need more information, you can contact us at info at blueware.com.